Hello, friends! My name is Matthew Swanson. And my name is Robbie Bear. And I'm an author. And I'm an illustrator. And we're here with you today because we're going to read a book to you that we wrote and authored and illustrated together. First, we're going to tell you a true thing about us. Robbie, yes. who wants to tell the truth? I will tell the truth. Please. We are married. We are. Mm -hmm. We are. And another true thing is that you do not have to marry the person who illustrates your books, nor do you have to illustrate the person who marries your books. Or did I get that wrong? <laughs> Anyway, not necessary. Not even recommended, guys. We have also created mm -hmm. four children, three yes. of whom are right over there, trying Being not to giggle or quiet. shuffle. We're going to introduce yes. them to you later. This is creating some the dramatic second tension. Part of the of the of the cast. Of the cast. All right. So, you guys, yes. we have spent about the last fifteen years making books together all the time. We've made about eighty-four or so books together. The first seventy or so books yes. were self-published, which means. We made them ourselves. We yes. printed them out. We, yes. you know, we put the words into the computer. We printed them out. Uh, we made books like this, little booklets where we trimmed down the pieces of paper and we bound it together with a little wire binding. You know, we had all different kinds of binding. But the point is, we made these books ourselves and we sold them directly to people. And so the most important yes. point is that we decided that we wanted to make the books. Mm -hmm. I decided I wanted to write them. Mm -hmm. Robbie decided she wanted to illustrate them. We didn't ask anybody's permission. We didn't wait till we were 37. Yeah. We just said, we're going to make these books. Darn it. We waited till we were 35. Okay. But you guys don't have you to You don't wait. have to do that. Yes, you can if, do it right now and you'll be like decades ahead of us. If you are seven, mm -hmm. you can write a book today. If you yep. have a story inside of you, write mm -hmm. it down. Find mm -hmm. your friend. Go call mm -hmm. your friend uh, Mark or Belinda or Jameson and say, hey, would you like to illustrate this book for me mm -hmm. or vice versa? If you yep. draw and you want someone to write a book for you, come on. Guys, you can do it. Yes. You're an author if you say you're an author. And you're an illustrator if you say you're an illustrator. And you're a you publisher have to do it if, if you, you make a book. Make a book together. Okay. Yeah. So we self-published this book. We asked for someone's help with this book. This is this, look, same name. What? Okay. Yes. A tall and magnificent wise woman named Erin at a publishing company named Macmillan mm -hmm. published this book. Mm -hmm. We shared this book with her and she said, oh, I like that title. I like Please that book. take out all of the untoward. All of the bad things that happen in this uh, book. This book was for adults. This book was for adults. Yeah. This yeah. book is for children. Yeah. And this has a happy ending. Nothing even though the title suggests disaster. Mm. There are some disasters. There are. All right. But we're going to pass this. Yes. On. We're not reading this we're to you We're not reading today. this one. This is a oh, teaser. Is, yeah. We have created a middle grade mystery series called The Real McCoys about a girl named Moxie McCoy who is swashbuckling, self-confident, Full of vim and verve, and tell us about the other person on the but cover, Robbie. There's her brother down there. Yeah, the what about him? His name is Milton. Yeah. He's in first grade. Yeah. He's not so swashbuckling. No. He's actually very quiet and very, very thoughtful and, and observant. He, he's very observant. And the very, yes. very much opposites. Yes. But to solve mysteries effectively, you need all of those characteristics, mm -hmm. and therefore they must collaborate yes. in order to solve the mysteries, yes. not just in book one, but also in book two, Two's a Crowd, and also in book three, Wonder Undercover. So if you guys, Robbie, go ahead. Show your favorite part thank of you, these books. Thank you. I just Dig wanted into to the details. make sure that everybody knows that these have lots and lots of pictures. If a graphic guys. novel and a picture book were all mashed yes. together in our blender, this is what would come out. It's called yeah. a hybrid book. Yeah. It has a thousand illustrations. I worked so hard, you guys. She did. Oh, let's love Robbie. You give Robbie some praise <laughs> oh, and props. That is the worst voice ever. Robbie, Please never do Robbie that has to finish a book this afternoon. <sighs> yes. So we need to give her some love. Can you send her some love? Write Please her some do. love. Some yeah. comments or yeah, whatever. Yeah. This is a book called Sunrise Summer that's coming out this summer. We're showing it to you in part because... It's about our family's summer adventures in Alaska. This is Robbie. This is our daughter, Alden. You guys, every summer, if you marry Robbie, don't marry don't Robbie. Do it. Don't That's do it. Idea. Don't do it. If nope. you marry her, yeah. you have to get in an airplane and then another airplane, then another airplane, and then fly 4,500 miles over 36 hours and end up in a remote outpost on the Alaskan tundra with no roads, no bathrooms, no electricity, no, no amenities of modern life. Look at those people working hard have fishing. have to work really hard fishing. Yeah. And pulling fish out of the ocean. We catch, you know, 50, 60, yeah. 70,000 pounds of sockeye salmon every summer. This book comes out in June. Talks all about our adventures up there. Yeah. We're not going to read that to you today no, either. No, another We're teaser. We're just, just teasing. We are going to read to you a book called Everywhere Wonder mm. about a boy's adventures in his imagination, exploring the world. It's about looking at things and valuing things and then telling stories about things. Yes. But I don't want to ruin your expectations by telling you too much about this book. No we're going spoilers. To... We're going to just read the whole thing and, and then, I don't know. Is, oh, are you is threatening the, these, well, these I was students? just going to, yes. Well, yeah, no. we're, we're going to read it. We're going to read it. Oh. Uh, I'm going to click some uh, some buttons oh, here. excuse us for some clicking. Yeah. The clickage. Here, here oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Oh. And there we go. And Nobody then wants to, to see there that. We, that. There Phew. we go. Beautiful. All right. All right, you Beautiful. guys. This is everywhere. Oh, Robbie, it's our names. Look at our Aww, names. Oh, how we're thrilling. On the cover okay. of a book. All right. Written by Matthew Swanson, illustrated by Robbie. Robbie Bear. Bear. All right. Let us let us proceed. Let us get deeper into the book. Yes. 
All right, this is the title page. The boy is picking a book off the bookshelf. His dog is lying down in the sunshine. These are the perfect conditions for a story to begin. Indeed. All right, here we go. I have a story to share. It is a little gift from me to you. You might not know it, but you have a story too. You'll find it in the things you stop to notice. The world is full of people and places and things all of them interesting, all of them beautiful. You never know what you might see or where your mind might take you. So keep your eyes wide open as you go. In Egypt, there are pyramids. I've never been there, but I want to go. In Arizona, there are canyons. You have been there. I have. My dad and I hiked down to the bottom when I was in seventh grade with big backpacks on. Oh, that must have been so tiring. It was amazing. I've never forgotten it. It was great. In the jungles of Brazil are leaves so plentiful and green that light can barely reach the ground below. In the high hills of Japan are gardens full of wind-worn rocks in clean white sand, but not a single flower. If you guys haven't heard of these, these are called rock gardens or zen gardens. Mm. And um, it's sort of like a meditative exercise. To they, they, Instead of having lots of plants, it's a bunch of pebbles, and then they rake them into these beautiful patterns. Um, it's quite lovely. But they're so. more about rocks than they are about plants, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. In Kenya, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras and blue wildebeest. So, true story. <laughs> um, when Robbie first thought she'd finished this illustration, there was the boy and the three zebras on the right, and two brown wildebeest. So I said, Robbie. Robbie, did you read this book? I kind of sometimes hmm. forget to read the words. Yeah, so... Or I read them once and then I forget what they were and I m- make up my own story. My basic objection was this, friends. When you see pictures of herds of animals in Africa, are there two or three? Or are there hundreds and hundreds? There are so many. I just didn't feel like drawing them. <sighs> but I knew that I didn't have to tell Robbie to yes. draw them. I said, go ahead and send this to our editor, Erin, and see what she thinks. You know what Erin said? Uh-huh. She was like, this is nice, Robbie, but draw some more wildebeest, for oh goodness sakes. Goodness. All right. Sorry, we're interrupting the flow. Yes. But in Kenya, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras and lots and lots and lots so of blue wildebeest. blue wildebeest. In Alaska, there are cold, wet waters filled with seals and sockeye salmon. In the middle of the Coral Sea, there is a roaring storm that no one will ever hear. We have never seen that. I no. am so glad that no. I don't have to go to the middle of the Coral Sea to see that. No, so you can see yeah. it in a book. That's yep. what books are for, it's right? amazing. For things that you actually don't want to see because they'd be <laughs> yes. too scary. It'd be way too scary to be out there. On the near side of the moon, there is a quiet footprint that no rains will ever wash away. I haven't been there either. In Sheboygan, there's a tractor mechanic named Shirley who has 37 friends. Um, okay. Are you going to tell another true, true story, story that when makes I, Robbie look bad? When I wrote this book, mm-hmm. Shirley had 57 friends. And, too many friends. And I gave the draft to Robbie, and she friends. said, no way, I'm not going to draw 20 extra people. Shirley mm-hmm. should be content with yeah. just 37 people in her circle of friends. Yes. And I said, I feel for you, Shirley. <laughs> I mean, Shirley is smiling, but she'd probably have a bigger smile if Robbie wasn't so mean. Mm-hmm. All Sorry, right. Shirley. All right. In Sheboygan, there's a tractor mechanic named Shirley who used to have 57 friends, oh, all right? Sorry, Shirley. On the North Pole, there is a cold and lonesome bear wishing for some company. Hmm. You want to go see him, of course, to let him know he's not alone, but your bike won't get you there and back by bedtime. Still, you noticed him, didn't you? He walked off this page and into your head. Now, he is part of your story. There are other wonders yet to find, not so far from where you are right now. They too are interesting. They too are beautiful. Stop to really look, and you will see them. In the highest part of the tree is an unexpected gift, a blue balloon that must have slipped from someone's fingers. In the deepest part of the pool is sunken treasure, a shiny dime that must have tumbled from someone's pocket. Will you save it, or spend it, or leave it there for someone else to find? This is where, when we read this book at schools, everyone goes, spend it, spend it! And I say, that's not fiscally prudent, (laughs) young people. You want to save that sucker. (sighs) 
in the grocery store are aisles and shelves and stacks of cans. You have to look so carefully to find the one you want. In your bowl of steaming soup is just one noodle that doesn't match the others. Where do you think it came from? Which noodle do you guys see in the noodle? Oh, these guys Look, are. I'm these guys are. Gonna observant. zoom in on yeah, it. All right, let's see it. Ooh, there, there it is. is. Oh, that's, that's a little scary. Oh my gosh! Eggs. Stop. <laughs> on the playground is a sturdy line of bright black ants, carrying their supper home. Under the bridge is a gently rolling river, floating a blue glass bottle out to sea. Perhaps it holds a message. What does it say? Who could it be for? In the busy town are sidewalks full of swiftly moving people who somehow never seem to collide. In the quiet countryside are miles of open, empty roads that somehow never seem to end. Where do they go? Someday you may find out. In the hallway is a spotted dog that turns golden as the sun sets through the window. In the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the reading lamp clicks on. Go ahead, Robbie. I just... Go ahead. I like this picture in part because I don't know how I drew that lovely doorknob. And you know what? I believe her when she says that. Because really sometimes don't. when I write something, I don't know where it came from either. Yeah. And I'm worried that I will never be able to write anything ever again. Yes. Don't ever ask me to draw another glass doorknob because I won't know how to do it. Since so many of you are about to be authors, just know, mm. or illustrators, mm. know that sometimes the creative process is baffling. It's okay? mysterious. All right. Yeah. All right. So in the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the reading lamp clicks on. Now the lamp is off and the moon is up. You close your eyes and see them again, the things you noticed today. All of these together are your story. Dream with them a while. When you wake up in the morning, open your eyes and open your window and let your story out into the world. It is a little gift from you to me. Now, my story is complete but yours is just beginning. <gasps> the the end. end. All right, Robbie, make our heads All really right. big again. I have All to right? do some clickety clicking. Okay. Yeah. So here's the da, point. Da, da, da. We're back. You guys are authors if you say you're authors. Yes. And if you want to become authors and illustrators today, we are going to help you get started. Yes. We have a booklet yes. that is a companion to Everywhere Wonder yes. that you can download from our website. So yes. first of all, we're going to put the link Whatever kind of post this turns out yeah. to be, if it's in YouTube, it'll be in the description. If yeah. it's in Instagram, it'll be in one of the comments. Yeah. Or you can contact us and we'll send it to you. Yes. But show it to us. This okay, is the. Okay, so this is it's called uh, My Book of Wonder. My Book of Wonder, a little booklet um, you can put so together. So if you are printing this out from the from the download, yes, um, it's going to print out probably. And if you have a, a printer that prints on both sides, please do that. It's called duplexing. Mm -hmm. If you have a duplexing pin printer. Print it so that it flips on the short side. Um, but if you have a regular printer, it's probably just going to print uh, four pages in a row like this. Right. So, so what do we do, Robbie? Once it out, you take your first page, your My Book of Wonder page, and then you take the second page and you flip it around so that they're back to back. Boom. Right? All right. And then you take the third page and then you flip the fourth page around back to back. Okay? And then I'm going to fold and then these two. fold them in half. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what direction. It doesn't matter what direction in. this one is, but this one should have the cover this on the cover. cover on the outside. All right. Sorry. There we go. All right. Um, and then you take these ones. This is the magic. Put the, the magic happens. Of these oh, ones. and then you have an eight-page book. And now you have a book. You can do this okay. if you have the right kind of stapler. You can staple you can. it this way. And if you have just a regular stapler, you can just crunch it along just the edge here staple and make it. Along it. That okay. Side. Yeah. All right. So, so, but I would recommend before you staple it, do the drawings inside and then staple it afterwards because it's easier to. To draw in it before you staple. Robbie is wise. So we have hired three actors to fill out the My Book of Wonder yes. and to then come read for you yes. so you can see how it works. So when you do this, yes. the the first page is gonna be blank. You're welcome to draw something in there. Go for it. Whatever you, have, you want, author. If you have a double sided sheets, it, it won't have the blank page. Okay. Then you have this page, which gives sort of a description of what this is all about and what we're trying to do. Carefully crafted yes. instructions. And then each page that you're going to be drawing on has like a little prompt. Mm -hmm. So, for example, well, this one. Let's, oh, let's, well, let's we'll let the actors do it. Actors yes. All right. It. May the first actor please come to the stage. Yes. All right. Um, yes. Please introduce yourself. Yes, young sir. Um, 
I am August Swanson. Correct. All right. Would you please read the first page of your book and then share with our friends your illustration? The most incredible thing I've ever seen in a movie or book is Hogwarts Castle. Oh. Here's what it looked like. Here's what it looked like. I'm going to... I'm gonna zoom. I'm gonna zoom it right up. Oh, very nice! Look at all those bricks you made in that castle. That is amazing. So the point here, you guys, is sometimes you get to explore the world by watching movies that or might be about books. real things, yeah. or might be about imaginary things, yeah. which makes the world even bigger. Thank you, young man, well done, sir. for helping. All right, who is up next? Please introduce yourself and then share uh, your, your writing and then your drawing with us. Yes. Okay. Hi. Who, who, I'm. Who are you? I'm Alden. Excuse Swanson. me. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. She was going to get to that. She was going to get to that. I'm sorry. You underestimate me. I do underestimate you constantly. And you always, always come through. Yes. All right, go ahead. Okay. One day I saw a clock that somebody else had thrown away. But I think it's beautiful and interesting. And so I drew this picture. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that beautiful clock. Oh, my gosh. That is stunning. And also a great drawing. Wow. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people throw things away that, um... That are really interesting and beautiful. There's even a phrase, one man's trash is another's no treasure. Man's treasure. Yeah, so what did you do with yes. this clock when you found it? Well, I gave it to you. She <laughs> did. Remember that? I do, I do, I do. That was, that, was a, that was a prompt. I was sort of, yes. Thank you. I love it. It's on my desk. It's beautiful. It doesn't work, but it's beautiful. Yeah, oh. probably why it was thrown away. Oh. Probably, but oh. it's still a beautiful thing. And yeah. Papa She's is so glad sharp that you got this it one. Out. She's <laughs> a sharp. Da, da, da. All right, thank you. Thank yeah, you very much. Bravo, All right. bravo. Uh, yes, please, come forth. Next, yes, yes. sir. Uh, in your name, sir. Kato. Yes, all right. And uh, please read the page of the book that we asked the you to The most read. amazing thing I've ever imagined is sushi as big as Mount Everest. Oh, what? that sounds good. Let us see it. Oh Let gosh, us see it. Sure. All right, Robbie. Here, hold on. Look at that su- sushi. Oh, is and that look, a rainbow roll? Look, yes. look yes. down there. It's as big as Mount Everest. <laughs> now, here's my question. What? Are the grains of rice proportionately oh. large, or is it just so much... Little tiny rices into a giant mountain. Ooh. The rice is large. The okay. rice is large. So we have like grains of rice the giant size of a bus. Of That's cool. Okay. All right. All right. So in the back of every My Book yes. of Wonder, you guys, there is a place to draw your self-portrait and to do a little author's bio. So there's yes. Kato's self-portrait. Kato, please read your bio to us. Um, we'd like to learn more about yes. you. This book was written by and illustrated by Kato Swanson. Mm-hmm. I live in Chestertown. Yeah. My favorite thing to do is soccer and build things. Okay. And my least favorite thing to eat is a bug, even though I've never eaten one. Oh. <laughs> Sounds gross. You know what? We've eaten crickets before. Has Kato? I think you no, were... that's Alden Alden. Okay. Only Alden. All right. Okay. Alden, is, Alden is bald. <laughs> and Augie? No. Um, okay. All right. If you I'll give, give me $100, more. I would use it to donate to charity and oh. buy video games. Nice. Oh. Okay. If you stole my toothbrush, I would probably let you keep it and never get another one again. I oh. think that is never wise. Never get another one again. Well, the letting the keep it part It's because he wise. gave away all his money to charity. That's right. You can't um, afford to buy a toothbrush. If, if that happens, if someone steals your toothbrush, we'll buy you a we new got toothbrush. you, bud. Yeah, We're going to we get you a new one. We got you, bud. I'm good. Children, <laughs> may please return to your natural Thank habitat. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you for this visit Can to the studio. Can you say goodbye to everyone? Yes. I said goodbye. Yes, she, she well did. Done. She did say goodbye. You underestimated her, too. Well, the other children didn't say goodbye. There we go. Goodbye, children. All right. So we have read a book to you. Yes. We have taught you how to make your own book. Yes. I want to end by saying you guys are authors if you say you're authors. And you are illustrators if you say you're illustrators. And you have to go to Alaska if you marry Robbie. Don't do it. Um, Guys, one other thing I want to say is that every afternoon we do a story hour on our YouTube channel, the Robbie and Matthew channel. Go to YouTube and search Robbie and Matthew. But... Tell them the very Don't important caveat. Don't spell Robbie. Robbie is spelled R-O-B-B-I. And no. Matthew. Matthew spelled like regular Matthew. Neither one of us has an E at the end of our name. No. Okay, but especially, especially not Robbie. Especially not Robbie. Okay? Okay. There's a Canadian wedding band, R-O-B-B-I-E e and Matthew. And Matthew. That's and not us. They're not going to let you download sure, this book. I'm sure they are lovely, but they do not have our book on their website. All right. Okay. So, you guys... Yes. Thank you for letting us spend some yes. time with you today. It was so nice to read we to you We would like bit. to see you again sometime. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Yay. We're out. Bravo. Take care.